begin tonight with the Kansas City Chiefs, who moved their record to 7-1 today with a 30-23 win over the Denver Broncos. News Press Now's Brandon Zenner caught the whole game from Arrowhead Stadium, and he joins us live with more. Brandon, definitely a hard-fought win out there today for the Chiefs. A 33-year-old male was sent to the hospital with critical injuries early Sunday morning after being shot in the chest. Captain Jeff Wilson with the St. Joseph Police Department said a disturbance between the victim and another man resulted in the shooting at 817 Vine Street, just north of Olive. Police responded to Mosaic Life Care shortly after 1 a.m. after the hospital reported the gunshot wound. As of yesterday afternoon, the victim was in stable condition, according to police. Officers have identified a suspect, but nobody is in custody at this time as the incident is still under investigation. St. Joseph Police are investigating two separate shootings that happened within an hour of each other on Saturday night. Shortly after 8 o'clock, police say a vehicle was hit by gunfire in the 2900 block of Angelique Street. IRS workers in Kansas City yesterday joined federal employees from across the country to demand that the federal government reopen. While some held signs, other federal workers are looking for temporary work. Still others continue to work using their lunch break to voice their concerns. What a nail biter for Mid Buchanan today. What a fun game. You know, hindsight's 2020, but I like the call to go for two there. Absolutely. And they I didn't mention it in the sports cast, but they actually lost two games by overtime this year. So coach said he asked the guys uh, if they wanted to go for it, try to win it there. And they, they, this game. They, they wanted to try to play for a state title right then and there. They didn't want to play any extra football. So I like it. I like it a lot. Great season by them. Brandon, thank you very much. And after a win yesterday afternoon, the New England Patriots will enter the friendly confines of Arrowhead Stadium next Sunday for a little AFC Championship action. Woo. Sunday will be the first time that Kansas City has hosted the conference title game, and tickets are a hot commodity. The total number of shooting incidents is five since this weekend. And yesterday, the St. Joseph Police Department addressed the recent uptick in gun violence. And News Press Now's Jessica Edson has that story. Two adults and a two-year-old girl were killed after a vehicle crashed into a river during a police chase in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. That's definitely always a good thing to do, you know, arrive a little bit early. And especially with that weather, if you're taking to the road, give yourself some time this holiday season. We're going to go out to Chicago, Illinois, where... You've been watching us this morning. We were covering an incident that happened there where two police officers were actually hit by a Metra train. Both of those officers were pronounced dead at the scene. They were both in their 30s and had been serving with the police force for under five years. So his adoption fees are, are pretty affordable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, hey, there it is, folks. This is Sparky. He's definitely a cutie. Very docile. Been cool the entire five minutes I've known him here. <laughs> if we want to make it four for four and get Sparky adopted, you can visit 701 Lower Lake Road if we could get the hours up there on the screen so you could check it out and come and get Sparky yeah. at the animal shelter. There are the hours right there. So come pick them up. They're all friendly over there. Everyone's very friendly over the animals. Everybody's shops. I love super coming friendly. Over we there. don't bite. <laughs> they don't bite, and neither do the animals down there. <laughs> Jennifer, thank you very much for joining us. Now check this out. Kansas City fans are showing their love for the home team as they're just one win away from appearing in Super Bowl 53 in Atlanta. Now some of these tokens of their devotion are pretty unique, and some of them are permanent. One Overland Park hair salon has seen a major uptick in business especially for fans who want to honor their Chiefs right on their heads. Look at that. That's a good job. You can clearly tell that's Patrick Mahomes. 